Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a glowing explosion effect easily in After Effects. Let's get started. First click on track camera and wait for the tracking to finish. Once it is done, I will create a solid and a camera in the background because I want the explosion to appear right there. Now I will go to the project panel and drag and drop the explosion VFX that I downloaded from Production Crate. You can find the same effect for free using the link in this video's description. Let's enable 3D on the explosion layer. Then click on the track solid layer and press P on your keyboard to reveal its position. Copy the track solid's position and paste it onto the explosion layer. Now let's scale and reposition the explosion until it looks right. Once you are happy with the explosion's position and size, we can toggle off the track solid layer since we no longer need to see it. Now before we change any colors and make the explosion glow, we should place it behind the car and any objects that need to appear in front of it. Duplicate your original clip and move the duplicated one above the explosion layer. Now scroll to the beginning of the layer, then go to the effects controls and delete the 3D tracker effect from it. After that grab the roto brush tool and double click the duplicated layer. Rotoscope the car and any objects that should appear in front of the explosion as smoothly as possible. Once you are done, click the freeze button and wait for it to finish. When it's done, close the rotoscoping window. Now I will smooth the edges by increasing the feather to around 15. Then I will slightly decrease the shift edge and set the reduce chatter to 100%. Everything looks fine now, so we can change the colors and make the explosion glow. I will match the explosion's color to the car's headlight color because I think it will look cool. Select the explosion layer and apply the hue slash saturation effect. Let's adjust the master hue until you are happy with the color. Now we can add a glow. I will use the deep glow plugin, but if you don't have it, the basic glow effect works fine too. It is too bright for me so I will decrease the exposure until it looks right. That looks better. Now I will apply the curves effect. Let's slightly drag the shadows to the right to make the dark areas darker. I will also drag the highlights to the left slightly to make the bright areas brighter. Now we can quickly check the final result. It looks good to me. For a better result, I will add a shake effect. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.